is good. Beer is good. Beer is good. And stop. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to this episode of the Beer Chasers. I'm Preston. We're joined again by Matt from Mesquite County Brewing. Matt, how's it going? Good. How are you? Good. So today we got two beers from the Modern Times Brewery. Tell them what we got. We have Blazing World, their hoppy amber ale, and we have Booming Rollers, which is their Switcher IPA. Yeah, so I got both these beers in a trade. Don't know anything about them. Neither one of us have had them. Super excited. You ready to go? I'm excited. Heard a lot about Modern Times Brewing, and I am ready to dig in. All right, let's drink some beer. Blazing World is a hoppy amber ale loaded with quantities of Nelson, Mosaic, and Simcoe hops. It has a grain bill that features two row, Munich, and midnight wheat. It has an ABV of 6.8%, an IBU of 85, beer advocate rated at 91, rate beer rated at 97. All right, so up first we have Blazing World. So this is a hoppy, dank amber dank ale. Amber. <laughs> uh, that's the name of it, or what they're calling it. Uh, I would consider it an IPA. Okay, so let's rate it kind of according to an IPA scale. Mm -hmm. Okay, first style. So, what do you think on the appearance? On the appearance? Blazing World. I think it is clear. I think mm -hmm. it's got a brilliant color to it. Uh, it's got a nice white, maybe a little bit off-white head to it. Yeah, it's like an amber, but not quite that dark amber. Mm -hmm. I think the appearance is, is, is very pretty. That's yeah, good. I'd probably rate the appearance a four and a half. Yeah, I'd agree. Four and a half, you know, looking at the IPA scale, I mean, it looks nice. It looks very nice. All right, smell. Hmm. There's some hops. A bit of hop pop there. Definitely some hops. I'm getting some some pine, a lot of fruit. Yeah. Um, maybe almost like a grape-like uh, aroma mm -hmm. out of that. And I get a little bit of malt, too, so I'm, I'm pleased with mm -hmm. that, that it's not just a big hop punch to the face. Yes. So what do you rate the smell? I rate the smell of four and a half. Yeah, I agree. Four and a half smells very nice. Well, the best part, the taste. Cheers. Cheers. That is danky. There is like a, a dankness to it. And I enjoy the amber. You know, I do like uh, mm -hmm. amber and amber box or amber ales. Mm -hmm. So I do enjoy that kind of characteristic in IPA. Mm -hmm. I don't want to call it complex, but there's definitely a lot going on there. I think there's there's complexity with the hop flavors. Mm -hmm. I think the hop flavors are playing a lot on the fruit and the grape flavors, a little bit of passion fruit, maybe a little bit of stone fruit too in there. Mm -hmm. And I think that's playing nicely off of the malt profile. One of the things I enjoy too is it finishes very dry. Mm -hmm. It's not it's not sweet. Yeah. But it's not but the bitterness is, is balanced in there with yeah. the malt. It's really nice. And when you finish it you want another sip, mm -hmm. and that's a mark of a good IPA. Yeah, it does have a sweetness because of the amber up front, but like you said, in, in the finish, it is kind of dry, where it doesn't have like a sweetness, it's a little more bitter. Mm -hmm. um, that's nice. It is very nice. What do you rate it? I'm going to give it a five. Five? Um, I'll go four and a half. I think it's pretty damn good. I think it's, I think it's exceptional. Okay. Extend. All right, so uh, what do you think on the mouthfeel? Mouthfeel, I mentioned a second ago that I think it finishes dry, mm -hmm. but I think that is, you know, in a West Coast IPA, that's exactly what you want to happen. I think it's, well, I think it's a four and a half, five. I think it's perfect. Yeah, I'd agree again. It's fantastic. Four and a half. So overall, that puts it pretty damn high. A four and a half, five range. I'm going to give it a four, seven, five. Okay. I've reserved fives for outstanding beers. This is as close to outstanding as I've had. Yeah, I'd give it a four and a half. I think it is West Coast inspired, but it, it kind of has that East Coast kind of flavor where it's not beating you over the head with just bitterness hops, just for bitterness mm -hmm. hops sake. Uh, well balanced. Um, I love the amber kind of characteristic to it. It kind of brings a little bit of that sweetness mm -hmm. to it. So, um, and you know me, I, I don't hate IPAs necessarily. I just like them a little more balanced. And these days, a lot of people are going way hop forward. And mm -hmm. I think this is kind of coming back to the, the middle of the road line, which is what I like. I think it's a, I think it's a perfect beer. Awesome. So there you have it. Blazing World. Blazing World. Booming Rollers is a seasonal IPA that features Citra, Motuka, and Centennial hops. The grain bill has two row, Carapils, Crystal 60, and Wheat Malt. It has an ABV of 6.8%, an IBU of 75, Beer Advocate rates it at 91, Rate Beer rates it at 97. Alright, so up next we have Booming Rollers. Ready to go? Ready to go. What do you think on the appearance? I think it's a lighter color. Yeah. I think it's a golden straw color. I, I like it. It's almost like a yellow. I mean, really, it's bright. It's got it like a very brightness to it. 
I think the clarity is a little cloudy. Mm -hmm. I think that's a lot to do with the uh, dry hopping. Mm -hmm. So it makes me personally look forward to smell on this one. Yeah, nice little fluffy head there. Fluffy white head, uh, carbonated. I'd probably rate this a good four. Okay. Four and a half. Yeah, I give it a four. Looks nice. Looks good. Let's go for the smell. Woo! That's that citra, right? Citra. That's, uh, that is a signature citra. That is citrus, a little, little earthy, a little, uh, a little bit of pine. It smells amazing. That's big hot flavor, but it almost makes my mouth water. And I don't like IPAs, but but IPA make my mouth water. Woof. Yeah, that citra is really you need a light touch when you're using citra. Mm -hmm. but this I imagine one, it's easy to overdo it. Yeah, I can't wait to taste this one. All right. Well, before we do that, what do you rate the smell? It smells gotta be a five. Yeah, I'll give it a five. It smells great. Smells, smells perfect. All right, for the taste, cheers. That's good. That is very good. That's really good. Surprisingly, it's not as bitter as I anticipated yeah. being. It's very hop flavorful mm -hmm. without being hop bitter. Yeah, yeah. And the malt really balances that out. Yeah. That's a very drinkable, sessionable yeah. IPA. And it's. That. It's very sweet considering the color. Like you would think with the color would be kind of like really just kind of light mm -hmm. and the hops are going to take over, but it really does have a nice sweetness to it. Again, I like a sweeter IPA that are more balanced and mm -hmm. this is fantastic. I mean, the flavor is, it's everything that the aroma promised. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's nothing left out. Yeah, so what do you want to rate the taste? I'm going to rate the taste a 4.75. Yeah, I agree, 4.75. Damn near perfect. Damn near perfect. What do you think on the mouthfeel? Mouthfeel I think is spot on. I think the carbonation level is appropriate to the style. Mm -hmm. I think it accentuates the hops and the malt, and I don't think that it takes anything away. I think it's a light to medium mouthfeel, mm -hmm. and it finishes pretty dry, but it doesn't feel like it's dry. Yeah, It makes you want to reach for another sip. Right. So uh, I think I'd give it a four. I'm going to give it a four and a half. Okay. So overall, what do you think? I'm going to give this one a 4.75. Yeah, I think a 4.5, 4.75 would be a, a very appropriate score. I think it's nicely balanced, smells good, looks good, good mouthfeel. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. It doesn't. It's everything it's promised, and it doesn't fail to deliver. The only thing I don't like about it is it's not available here. <laughs> I agree. We'll talk about that in the next section on beer chasing. But there you go. That's Booming Rollers. All right, with that tasting complete, that's going to wrap up this episode of Beer Chasers. So we started with Blazing World. Blazing World was a great dank amber ale. It delivered on everything the can promised. It was dank. The aroma was awesome. The uh, malt profile was there. It was an IPA, in my opinion, that was one of the best I've ever had. Yeah, I really liked the amber aspect. It gave it that sweetness that typically you don't get in a lot of IPA, so it was really good. I, I, I love the beer. Yeah, so on a beer chasing level, would you go pick this one up at the store again? I would pick it up at the store. I think I would as well. Uh, would you go three hours on a drive to the brewery to get it? I would drive three hours to the brewery to get this beer. For me personally, I would not, but if you're coming over, I knew you're going to be coming into town for a visit, I would go pick this one up for you. So, would you go on an eight hour car ride across state lines to pick this one up? I don't know if it would be the only one I'd pick up, but it would definitely be worth a trip to go to Modern Times to pick that up. Okay, and then in closing, would you fly across the country to a beer festival to pick up this beer specifically? Specifically, that beer at a beer festival, I'm not sure if. That would be the reason. I'm going to say no to that, but okay. I would definitely plan a vacation near the brewery uh, to get this beer. All right. Well, then we had Booming Rollers. Mm -hmm. It's your awesome Citra IPA. It's light in color. The, the malt, I think, is more balanced in mm -hmm. this one. Um, yeah, I was pleasantly surprised with that one. It was, uh, you had that kind of citrus, kind of hoppy flavor, but it was real balanced, real good all around. It was, it was an all around amazing beer, and like the other one, it, it, it didn't fail to deliver what the can uh, described it as. It mm -hmm. was a really all around amazing IPA. So from the beer chasing aspect, we would definitely pick this one up at the store. Definitely. Uh, would you go three hours at a brewery? I definitely would go three I hours. definitely would as well. Would you go eight hours across state lines for this one? Specifically this one. It's coming out this one day, you can only get it at the brewery, you gotta drive to go get it. I might be a little too far for this one beer. Um, but again, one step further, if I was going to take a vacation and this was in the area, mm -hmm. I would definitely make the, uh, make the round trip to go out there and, and see this brewery. Yeah, and then the, we're saying we're definitely not going to go fly across the state just for this one beer. Not for just this one beer, but if it was in a group, I would definitely make the, uh, the trip. Awesome. 
Well, Modern Times all around on their IPAs, pretty damn good. Modern Times, great beers. If you can get them, pick them up. Yeah, unfortunately, sad face. Us Florida folk, not so lucky. Not here. All right, well, I think that's going to wrap up this episode. I'm Preston, Matt, Beer Chasers. We'll see you later. Beer is good. Beer is good. Beer is good. And stop. Beer is good. Beer is good. Beer is good. Let's go drink some beer. Beer.